Hi everyone, Andy from Average Joe Survival. I've got a real treat for myself here. It's a Carrymore SF Sabre 75 backpack. I've, uh, I've bought this for myself because I felt that I needed what what you'd call a top loader backpack, but I'll, uh, I'll go into the reasons for that and, and what exactly I mean by that in a minute. So here it is. Here is the, uh, the package. I've only opened uh, the top. I've not opened the inner package yet. The reason I've opened the top is just to take the invoice out before the video. So I'm pretty excited to look inside and take a look at this. So uh, let's, uh, let's, let's get on. Let's open this up. Okay. So I bought this from Ray Mears Bushcraft, um, also known as uh, Woodlaw. Uh, they've been great. They've been really good with the communication that they've had. Let the uh, train go past while we take a look. I'm only, in my, uh, I'm only near my house at the moment. I've not gone out of the way to do this because, you know, I didn't want to take a backpack to uh, to open a backpack, if you know what I mean. It's a quick unboxing. Hopefully going to be more to follow. Okay, so, all right. A little bit smaller than I, uh, than I imagined in my mind's eye from seeing it online. Um, it's supposed to be 85 centimetres, which I've, I've measured my my chair that I, uh, I take with me I know it's not an essential item but that's something that I did want to fit inside this so um, but I'm sure it will do there'll be some ex sort of expansion system or, or something but okay let's uh, let's get inside it's looking good it looks like a decent backpack but you know you'd expect it for the price so let's see the, uh, the colouring on it is a little bit different than, than I'd sort of imagined as well. Um, it's not a problem. This uh, the, the straps here kind of look the same colour, whereas on a lot of the images that you'll see, if you've looked around for this bag, you'll see that there's kind of um, a brightish green colour and then a darkish green coloured straps. I actually quite like this. It's more, much more of a military olive colour, the, the typical olive drab that you might be used to seeing on, on some other items. Okay, so um, so here it is. Sabre 75, everything that you'd uh, that you'd come to expect from the from the other videos. Quite liking uh, liking the look and the feel of it. Okay, so turning this round, all right. So that was something I was interested in beforehand. Is is how wide the the straps are. Um, these uh, these straps. Okay, so I sh I'll. Um, we should have brought like a measure with me so I can give that information. So I'll take a look at the bottom of the screen if you're wondering exactly how wide these straps are, because uh, that was something that I was interested in. I'll measure them and get them to you. They are they are wide enough for me. I'm a I'm a big guy, and I was worried that these these looked a little bit small in in relation to the backpack from the pictures that I'd seen. But nope, these look great. And also, the padding on it's really thick here. There's a good inch of uh, thick padding there. Okay, so this here, this is exactly as it comes from the manufacturer. I'd spoken to um, spoken to one of the guys at Woodlaw, and I'd uh, I'd specifically request what requested one that was just as it was straight from the factory, so that I could show you guys exactly what it is that you you're likely to get when you buy one if you buy a brand new one. So this is something that I hadn't seen online before. So. Okay, so this is how it's how it's strapped up here. Let's do. This is the mid belt buckle, I believe, the waist buckle. Okay, so here we have it. Lots of padding, really thick. Um, yeah, that looks uh, that looks what you'd expect from a backpack of this of this sort of price and quality. Looks really good. Um, okay, now. Uh, open this up a bit it's got these uh, carabiner loops on the top there I like that you can stick a bedroll on top if you wanted to or a foam mat or something you can strap them down nice without having to add anything to it okay so inside here I'm beginning to see why they list it as being 85 centimeters uh, long 85 centimeters tall and the reason is the reason is because these straps here undo they come open these and that's elastic there okay I'm not sure if you're picking that up all right but that's beginning to make sense this was something that was originally concerning me but I actually quite like this 
because this shows versatility it shows that i can have it as a, a regular size backpack if i wanted to but also i could still fit those longer items in like my camping chair when i'm going out and about again i know it's a majorly luxury item it's not something that's huge of huge importance in terms of survival or anything okay that's wrapped up there because so that kind of to demonstrate i guess that it's not been open okay so i'm just gonna have to go off camera here okay so there we go that's the reason why this is listed as 85 centimeters because you can fit you can expand it all the way to this i'll tell you why i bought this to start with I bought it because it's a top loader it seemed important to me to get a top loader because so far for my uh, outdoor my camping bag i've been using a 511 rush 75 which is a really incredible backpack it's 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 stunning it's sturdy it looks you know it it's, it's a great backpack for what it is but to my mind it's not ideal for going camping with if you're taking stuff like a sleeping bag and the reason for that is because it's a it's what they call a clamshell opener whereas this is a top loader so everything's going inside it and i'm telling you this because i don't want you to make i wish i could have bought this from the start and not not I don't want to say wasting my money because I'm going to keep this backpack. I'm going to, I think I might use it as some kind of get home, like a get home bag for my car. The reason I bought this backpack is because it's a top loader. What's good about a top loader? Right, well, I'll tell you. You can stuff your sleeping bag in there, right down to the bottom. Get it right down there, and then you can start packing things around it. With a clamshell opener, so with a 511 rush 72 as nice as it is for for make you know for organizing things because there's loads of pockets on it you don't get to do this you don't get to put your put your sleeping bag in there your camping chair and put you know force your camping chair legs around it and then force down your um your softy gear so you you know you want your cold weather gear you can really sort of um really make use of space with a top loader and I think that I think that's that's probably why armies have gone with Bergens and things is so that you can really make best use of the space. So that there is the reason. I'm not sure if this is covered on other videos. Mesh pocket on the inside of the hood there. Kind of nice. Um, that's going to be pretty handy. Keep your essential items in there. And then you're also going to be there's also another pocket here now let's see i don't know if this is access to the same pocket or not nope it's a separate pocket okay right there in the hood that's really good you know you your stuff that you're going to need in a in a quite quick time so the stuff you might want your tarp you might want to be able to get some cover up in case it gets starts raining you might want your med kit because if it's an emergency you're not going to want to go digging around in it but that's pretty good okay so I think pretty much everything else if you are in the market for one of these you'll have seen a load of other videos and i think everything else has been covered i don't think the the height of the backpack was covered that was one of the main reasons i bought this as opposed to the saber 60 to 100 instead um i all something else that i liked about this bag as opposed to that other one is that this is 35 30 centimeters deep whereas the 60 to 100 is 35 centimeters deep the further out your backpack goes the heavier it feels it's <laughs> I, I, I don't know what the you know what the science is always i suppose it's gravity or whatever but if you hope you can kind of get that but basically the further out you go heavier it is so when you're packing a backpack you always want to keep the the heaviest stuff closest to your back and the lightest stuff further away um so bear that in mind i'll just run over now what the problems with a clamshell opening backpack are okay so this is my this is my current backpack that I use for my excursions. Now, as you'll see, I'm not exactly a minimalist here. In this, uh, in here, I've just got something that I would stick on some clothes that I'd stick on before I went out. Um, but here's, here lies a problem with the clamshell opener. Okay, so even when you take off, take your straps off, your compression straps, start opening this up. There lies the problem, right? You put your sleeping bag inside this and you've got to fight to get the thing closed. With a top, with a top loader, 
you put your sleeping bag in you force it down to the bottom when the bag's empty and then you put the things around it that you're going to need and they it's easy to force them down with your hand it's not easy to do it when you've got a clamshell opener like this because you've got to basically wrestle with it to get it shut now in fact i'm dreading closing this thing already this is you know this is a, a 511 rush 72 and as great as it is for what it's intended for i don't think it's primarily you know a, a, a bag for what i use it for which is wild camping i must say i do love the quality of this this backpack though i love the way it looks i love the quality of it i love the way everything's so organized i think for a bug out bag or something this is the way to go it's a great bag okay but i've uh, i've not really got a great deal inside this considering the size of it and the reason for it primarily is because you've got to wrestle it closed every time so now to get this shut i'm just going to show you the nightmare that you'll have it's not a nightmare but it's a pain in the backside it's not ideal far from ideal and you you're not making good use of your space either so grab these pull this up all right i'm fighting this bloody zip closed now it's a right pain in the fucking ass Put one big sleeping bag in there it's taking up so much bloody room oh look at this in I don't even know if I'm on camera now. I'm going to get this closed so. Right. The sleeping bag inside it, basically, by the way, is it's a snug pack Elite 5. So it isn't a small backpack, a small sleeping bag. To be fair, uh, you know what? I'm not even. I'm not even going to carry on this fight in front of you. It's embarrassing. It's winning me. It's beating me, should I say? I'm nearly done now, actually. Get in there, you bugger. Done here. Okay. Dish. Finally, right. So I've just got my sleeping bag back in there, and yeah, it was hard work. But the real problem is the amount of space that it's taken up now because I can't really force things in around that anymore. If I'm using a top loader, even if I was using a smaller backpack than this as a top loader. I'd be able to have made better use of the room. I would have been able to put in the backpack, force other gear around it. Uh, sorry, put in the sleeping bag and force other gear around it. And that's a, a far better way of doing things. I'm telling you, just if you're considering buying a backpack for going out wild camping, please buy a top loader. Don't make the mistake I did. Because uh, as cool as these look, a pain in the bloody ass if you're trying to get a, get a sleeping bag in. Um, and, th and there we go if you are buying a backpack you don't need to spend the same money the same money I've done there I'm a bit of a, a bit of a kit junkie to be honest with you um, I'm a bit silly when it comes to some stuff I'm not saying I've been silly with that because I'm sure it's a great quality backpack but you don't necessarily need to spend what I've done just do buy a top loader if you wanted to take a sleeping bag so okay here we go right I'm uh, I'm gonna go now because uh, down on the ground round here I can smell fox pee and it's not nice to be honest with you so all right I'll get this video up so that's an unboxing of the Sabre 75 and hopefully you've um, you've learned something about some of the benefits there of of buying a top loader over a over a clamshell and that's coming from someone impartial I've no I've no I'm not saying what brand of top loader to buy and I love 511 so that's a totally impartial opinion there um, but yeah please do please save yourself a few quid if that's if your intention is to go wild camping but uh, thank you very much once i've uh, once i've got all my gear transferred over i'll go through my uh, my my wild camping setup with you when i'm actually going out it does it's not all hanging off like this some of the stuff that i've put on before it's just a way of storing it but all right thanks for watching cheers everyone